Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for February the 16th through the 28th. So we are in Pisces season. So happy birthday to all you beautiful Pisces that are celebrating a birthday for this period. And just wanted to let you know Pisces that this is, there will be no extended to the reading this week. I'm making them a little bit shorter and they're a little bit later than usual, but I wanted to get them out, especially as it is Pisces season. I wanted to get the messages out for you. I've just been slammed with, um, illness in the family and so just couldn't get as many things out as I can but we've got cup six Neptune Scorpio fantastic coming in so uh, Neptune your ruler coming in Scorpio your fellow water sign the cup six Neptune Scorpio can represent uh, energy from the past returning 110 Sun Sagittarius and releasing some burdens around that which is really nice now, we've also got Sword 6, Mercury, Aquarius, and Wand, Ace, Fire. Wow, so you're really determined to move on from this, <laughs> from an energy from the past. There's got the one, the Ace of Wands is like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be doing this, and the Sword 6 is moving on. This can actually be related to travel, so there's some travel cards in here for you. And interestingly, I kind of get for you the words research. So you might be researching this or there is a sense of researching options, looking at options. Uh, yeah, I kind of, for some of you, <laughs> research is important. Going back, trawling over things, history could be really interesting energy coming in for you here, Pisces. But this feels really good. You know, you're moving on to a place of greater peace and you can see that very clearly now, which is really nice with that 110 Sun Sagittarius coming through so let's see what is coming in for you in terms of the rest of the reading what does Pisces need to hear for the rest of the reading okay the five of swords there's been some conflict around this so this is a person a situation or a, just an energy from the past this is a trip down memory lane there might have been a fallout of some sort like a fight or a bit of conflict around interpersonal conflict crossed by the lover's card it could have been to do with a particular significant soulmate energy uh, but it also feels like it wasn't necessarily you weren't given a choice with something that's part of what was coming in that there was no choice or you weren't given the choice so it, it kind of feels like there was a fallout in your head you want in your conscious mind you want happiness around this the ten of cups you want long-term happiness so it's kind of like releasing that thing from the past in order to free yourself forgiveness is coming in which is a really nice energy oh you've got the ace of pentacles so this is an opportunity that's coming through uh, at your base happening deep down inside of you you're seeing this as a solid opportunity something tangible could come of this so yeah, I think the fact that you are moving on or wanting to travel, uh, you may be wanting to go back over places that you've been before, uh, but this Ace of Swords is like a new path is opening for you. Something very tangible is opening up. So the Ace of Swords can, I mean, sorry, the Ace of Pentacles uh, can be, and you've got two aces now, so there's a lot of fresh energy, a lot of revitalization here about the way you're traveling in the world. And yeah, the Ace of Pentacles could is uh, something has ground down into a reality or there's a very serious opportunity here. So let's look at the recent past. We've got the Four of Pentacles. So there may be some savings that has come in. You might be wanting to invest at this moment in time. But it also feels like it's kind of like you were holding on to something from the past. Uh, and it's it feels like it's time for to let that go uh, and to move into something into the future to step into where it is that you want to go at this moment in time. So and you might have been holding on to that energy in the near future. You got the Knight of Swords. So yeah, this is all going to happen really fast. A lot of Gemini energy around this actually. So moving forward quickly, uh, yeah, with the temperance energy into something that is more balanced here, the temperance is something is shame, shaping and changing form very quickly and it's around health, healthy relationships or a healthy relationship to your past path. Uh, or past as well. You can see with both of these cards that a new path is opening up here. <laughs> so much more aligned to who you are. And it could be making money. It could be good for your health. It could be good for your home. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles can be wanting to start your own business. It can be bossing up. It can be 
uh, a new way to be making money. So, yeah, the temperance energy definitely could be, you know, it's it's just a lot healthier is what I'm getting here. Uh, and it's kind of interesting because, yeah, you're moving towards this greater balance that's coming in and it's happening quite fast, faster than what you are thinking at this moment in time. So let's pull a card for you in the situation. Let's see what's happening for Pisces. You're the Seven of Pentacles. So this is where you kind of, you know, you know you've got this. You've got, you know you've got this seed, this big seed, this thing you want to plant, plant and develop in your life, this opportunity. And you're here going, looking at it going, right, well, how can I make this, uh, this tangible opportunity or tangible reality that I'm now facing, uh, how can I make this, plant this seed and make it into uh, – something that brings in growth, make it something bigger and better. So, yeah, it's you planting a seed to make something bigger and better. And the Seven of Pentacles can be that you're readjusting your schedule, looking at where you want to invest your time, energy and money. So there's an investment that's coming in with this, which feels really good. It feels really important. So it's like you're wanting to invest some time, energy or money into this uh, because you want to, you know, you're going to see some tangible results here. Um, things are going to start to flow. You've got the two cards of things flowing very quickly. A another ace, okay? So a lot of aces would suggest a lot of new energy coming in, which is really lovely. And so the ace of swords represents clarity, wisdom. It can represent new contracts. Uh, but the Ace of Swords is very much, it, it, it's kind of like your head is clear at this moment. There's clear thoughts uh, as to how to invest this this um, Ace of Pentacles that's here. So I think you're going to be seeing this really clearly. Uh, hopes and fears, the moon, which is <laughs> a confusion, fear and confusion. So we don't want that. And as an outcome, we've got the Seven of Cups. Okay, so you are looking at options uh, with this seven of cups, the vision is starting to form. You've got two sevens here, which would suggest a period of evaluation. Uh, looking at it's not quite clear yet the path, even though there's clarity around it, you're wanting to find that clarity. Uh, but there's still some options ahead. The path is not necessarily clear. There's something on offer in particular that you're not sure about, and you're not really. Let's pull another card. Yeah, the the King of Pentacles, it could definitely be around how the money to do with this or a particular person, like the King of Pentacles is a Taurian energy around. So there's something you're not sure that's on offer here in terms of your job, your work, uh, your home situation and your health. Uh, and this is where you're kind of finding a solution. You're getting messages and solutions around this. Uh, yeah, and the emperor, so dealing with authorities, dealing with, this could be dealing with banks or loans of some sort uh, with the, the king of pentacles and the emperor. Um, there's things around that that will have to be brought up and dealt with, but the emperor is about making something a concrete reality, making something successful. And next to the king of pentacles, which represents money, you've got money and success and you're planting this seed. So we also, another seven has come in, the seven of swords. So it's something that uh, you're not necessarily, even though this has come upon, upon you quite quickly, this opportunity that it's like, what? well, I need to understand what this is first. Uh, I need to truly understand it for what it is and how I'm feeling about it. Uh, but the Seven of Swords is... Yeah, you've got one foot in, one foot out. It's, you know, the path to liberation and freedom, one foot in an old energy where you felt quite stuck and one foot in, um, one foot out wanting freedom. So there is a plan that is formulating and forming here. And I think uh, once that King of Pentacles and Emperor energy does come in, then I think that this could be like it's the energy of a new job offer or something's on offer. And I think you just need to spend a bit of time with it. But it feels really solid and successful with this King of Pentacles and the Emperor energy coming in. It says there's plenty for everyone, including me. The ocean of life is lavish with its abundance. All my needs and desires are met before I even ask. My good comes from everywhere and everyone and everything. Beautiful, beautiful energy to come in. So let's pull. Oh, 
<laughs> we've got the tower. I love this, a little charm for you, the tower. That's kind of why, while I was pulling that, I was getting, okay, there's a little bit of fear and uncertainty around this. Um, yeah, the balance does restore. It needs to be healthy, but there is also this determination to make it successful. So it's kind of like feel the fear and do it anyway, um, even if all the puzzle pictures, the picture hasn't fully formed as to what this is, because you've got the tower, which is suggesting that this is going to be something of significance. <laughs> This is something that you are building something uh, very strong, very significant in your life. And it's about building really, really strong foundations, but not only for you to see, but for other people to see and notice as well. It's kind of like a guide. It's a guiding structure of stability in your life that you are building here. So there is a sense of being really strongly guided by this and it does need to be stable, like stability here is with this Ace of Pentacles. So even though you might be looking at the plan, reworking the plan, uh, having lots of ideas around that, the Tower Energy is saying what you're building from the ground up, and it's a real Capricorn kind of energy, is that it's building a good foundation here that's just going up and up and up. So that is what I'm getting for you, Pisces. This is something very significant that you're creating in your life. It could be something long lasting. Towers can last a very, very long period of time. And yeah, that's kind of the energy that's coming in for you. So thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Enjoy your birthday season. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you get some beautiful blessings. And yeah, that's it. Ciao.